This is CCMP Pro for the IPv6 peering project. You can visit us on Reddit at reddit.com slash r slash IPv6 peering project. Today I'll be going over a Linux BGP setup using Quagga. First, we need to get our IPv6 uh, address range set up to an interface on our Linux box. So, let's take a look here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be peer 8, so I'm going to look at my FD range. That is the advertising range I'm going to use. And I'm going to go ahead and do an IP-6 ADDR add FD0008. In this case, I'm just going to use IP address 1 because it's simple. And I'm going to use it on vice LO, which is loopback 0 for Linux boxes. I'm going to do an if config loopback 0 up. Make sure it stays up. And next, we're going to go ahead and install Quagga. So, if you're on the Debian machine, you can always use apt get install Quagga. I'm not going to do this because I've already installed Quagga on my machine, but it's pretty straightforward. So, once you get Quagga all installed and set up, you're going to go ahead and do a change directory to etc Quagga. It's the default install folder for all the config files. And once you look in here, you're going to do a nano or whatever your text editor choice is. Daemons. And you'll see that pretty much everything is turned off. And for this BGP session, we will need Zebra and BGPD. So we're going to change both of these over to a yes in the config and save it. And after that's done, we need to copy over some default config files. So we're going to use a copy user share doc quagga examples zebra sample and we're going to move that on over to etc quagga zebra and we're going to call it zebra.com and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for bgpt So bg, bgpd .sample bgpd All right. So once you get those example config files copied on over, go ahead and start editing them. So the only one we really need to edit here is this bgpd.conf. So we're going to go ahead and open that up now. And you'll see it has some basic idea of what you want to do, but we're going to do a lot more than what is shown here. So, first things first, let's get a host name set up. I'm going to call this IPv6 test. This is um, just kind of like a username. It's not really too important, but of course password is, so let's give it a password. And we're going to go ahead and uncomment. That's the exclamation point is a comment. So we're going to uncomment enable password. And we're going to go ahead and put an enable password in there. You should probably use something a little more secure than password yourself, but I'm just doing this for an example. All right, so next thing we want to look at is router BGP. So router BGP is what sets your AS number and turns on BGP initially. If I look back at my addressing for the wiki on uh, the Reddit peering project. You'll see that my address number is 65008, the AS number. So I'm going to go ahead and change this number to 65008. And next we're going to do router, BGP router ID. It's going to go ahead and just be, for simplicity's sake, 8888. That's just telling other BGP routers your router ID, it's mostly used for priority, things like that. Uh, I wouldn't play with it too much. I'd pretty much just stick to whatever your peer number is. Keep things simple. Next thing I need is network. Actually, we don't need network. We need no BGP default IPv4 unicast. So we're saying completely turn off IP version 4 for BGP because we don't need it. And we don't want anybody messing with our IP version 4 traffic and injecting routes that we don't want. Alright, so once we turn off IP version 4, we're going to do a neighbor. 
and then we need a neighbor address. So in this case, I have 28 already selected. I pretty much went into the peer list here, and peer number two was nice enough to BGP peer with me today. I already have an IP6 tunnel with him. You'll have to have an IP6 tunnel established before you set up this BGP session. And his tunnel address is FE82N, and that N, of course, stands for my peer number. So that would make sense for 28. All right, so we're saying neighbor FE82N. Remote AS65002, which is his AS number. So we're saying the remote AS number is 65002. Next, we're going to do neighbor FE8028. Update source SIT2. So we're saying use tunnel SIT2. In this case, this is my IPv6 tunnel to that peer as the source. And neighbor FE AD two eight interface sit two. Uh, this is mostly for cross compatibility with Cisco boxes and things of that nature. Uh, it's always good to just set the interface tunnel as well. On Cisco boxes, you won't have this. This is a Linux only Quagga deal. All right, so let's do address family. It's the next command we're going to be using IPv6. And we're going to go ahead and set that network command. So network empty. That is my advertising range from the wiki. Next, we're going to do neighbor 828. This is our peer. We're going to say activate. So what activation does is it shares your networks that you're advertising with your neighbor. If you don't set this neighbor FE8028 activate, you will still create a BGP session with them. You just won't be sharing any table information and you won't be sharing your networks. So finally we're going to do a neighbor FE8028 route map command H6 is out. So what we're saying here is for neighbor FE8028, set a route map called NH6 and 65002. I just named it that for simplicity, but you can go ahead and name it whatever you'd like. And out. So we want it outgoing. And exit address family. This command is needed for Quaka. If you don't enter it, it won't know when you leave this group, and it'll get all kinds of confused, and it's just good to have it in there. So next, let's go ahead and set up this route map in H6. So we're going to tell it route map in H6 and 65002, permit 10. Then we're going to do match IPv6 address, prefix list, reddit, IPv6 pp. So we're saying for this route map, match this prefix list. In this case, it's going to be called Reddit IPv6 PP. And we're going to set IPv6 next top global D00081. That's the address of the loopback that you set up in the very beginning for your IPv6 address. And we're going to do set IPv6 next top local D882. That's your tunnel. And let's see here. So that's your tunnel to uh, this neighbor, whatever that IPv6 address might be. And finally, we're going to go ahead and create that prefix list. So IPv6 prefix list Reddit IPv6 PP sequence 5 permit FD00 slash 24, 28. And IPv6 prefix list Reddit IPv6 PP sequence 10 deny everything else. All right. So what we're doing here is saying for this prefix list Reddit IPv6 PP permit anything that's advertising a range of FD00, which is our advertising ranges for the Reddit peering project, and deny anything else. We don't want anything else messing with our BGP table. 
And that's that. You can go ahead and save that. Save changes. And start BGP. So slash etc init d quagga. I'm going to do a restart here, but you can do a start as well. And started Quagga Demon, Zebra, BHP, D, no errors. All right, great. So you should start seeing the addresses coming up. And your neighbor should start seeing that BGP session opening up for you. Hope this helps you out with Quagga. And until next time.